Hey Aquarius, welcome back. This is going to be a bonus, a timeless reading. Um, somebody that may be thinking about you. We're going to see what shows up. It could be somebody that you're missing. Um, I've already completed a, um, a singles love reading. I did it um, all signs together. So you can check on my page um, for that. So that, that will be a singles reading. We're going to see what is coming towards you in terms of love. Always take what resonates, and then at any time that um, you would like me to focus in on your energy, you can click on the link below. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. There I offer a variety of personal readings, and I would be able to tune into just your energy. Always watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity, because it's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. And for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I do offer monthly giveaways. I'm just closing out Marches and I'm waiting for one other person to get back to me. Two people won a free reading for March. April will be a brand new um, a brand new giveaway. So I'm just waiting for one more person and then by the time I start the next session of readings, which I think will be for the full moon on the 6th, um, I will be announcing the April giveaway. And you, by being a subscriber, You'll be able to take advantage of the giveaways each and every month. All right, we're going to do an energy for you and your person, an animal energy, animal spirit guide energy for Aquarius spirit and their person. All right, we have 66, White Raven, Trust in the Magic. I feel like there's something very magical coming your way. Like if you look at his feathers, he almost looks so unique but disheveled. Like they're all over the place. And it's like, it's almost like through the imperfections, through anything that you went through that was very um, disheveling, there's magic coming your way. And Swan Spirit... 666, guys. Time for a deep dive. This person's taking like almost a leap of faith, a deep dive towards you. With the wa with the swan, I'm getting like water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Possibly a soulmate connection. We have sacred space, altar prayer candles, commune with your own divinity. This is you taking back your sacred space within your heart, within your soul and your mind, clearing your space out, um, meditating, praying, whatever it is that gets you into the energy of putting out there to your spirit guides and the universe, what you truly want in terms of love. This could also be somebody doing um, some kind of ritual to bring you towards them. Or maybe, maybe even into tarot cards also or readings. Your divine masculine, your twin or your soulmate seeking you. And I really did feel like soulmate connection there when I was looking at that card. And look at this, union, reconciliation. Your time has come. Aquarius, who is coming towards you? Let's see, let's see. Past energy, five of swords. So there was an ending, hard ending. It could have been arguing. It could have been negative th things said to one another, negative actions taken, um, but feeling defeated and surrendering. Air energy. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Present energy, two of swords. 
stuck between a rock and a hard place between you and this person, not wanting to make a decision or not wanting to take the blindfold off and realizing that it is what it is and that a decision will need to be made. Feeling closed off and very, feeling very protective of yourself. And in the future, there's still an energy of holding back. I feel like definitely a delay within the communication between you and this person. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Cups, so it's definitely somebody reminiscing. Having a sense of nostalgia, looking at old photos, possibly text messages. But you were definitely a comforting connection in this person's life. Let's see what else. Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like something abundant is coming towards you. That you could have met this person within work or doing business with them. I was picking up on water energy here, but it also could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for some of you. I feel like a brand new offer is coming towards you and it's going to be one of like blessings, a feeling like a magical moment. Yeah, see, it's time to re, it's like it's time to start fresh, fresh sheet of paper. Where, how does this chapter begin? making your dreams come true through this ending and this transformation. This person coming towards you, it was definitely a hard ending. Like I said, I do, I'm picking up on energy of the past that was very negative. Arguments disagreeing, but it's now time to come together in a good energy healthy energy and start rewriting a brand new chapter. And you might be a little bit closed off when this person comes towards you. Five of swords twice and judgment. So it's like where you've wanted to keep the blindfold off on and have been going through a time of self-evaluation. So have they. And I feel like you're going to be a little bit on guard. This person's definitely thinking about you. They fear that you are the one that got away. Why is the Five of Swords here twice? Yeah, the hind man. This light bulb has gone off in their mind. And there was definitely a delay in this. Definitely a delay in the communication. But look at this. Yep, a decision is being made. They are traveling towards you, Aquarius. They want this, and I definitely feel like it's a soulmate connection. Please clarify the future. The Four of Queens, the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like they, they feel that you've moved on, that you're thriving. You might receive a direct message or like a message on social media. See, I'm getting water energy. Water and earth, guys. I mean, I have fire here too. So go with the placements within your chart and then take what resonates. I have water energy here, air energy, fire. And then I have earth. But there is definitely no speaking within this connection. It's like... I feel you've gone silent and you've definitely moved on to a more peaceful state and harmonious state within yourself. But it's whether you're ready or not, this communication is coming in.
Yeah, see? It was a hard ending for this person, and I feel like it was for you too. But here's the messages. I feel like you possibly could even be dreaming about them, but I feel like they're dreaming about you. And there's the message in the bottle. The progression, the communication coming in. To restore the balancing of the scales. I feel like you were their karma. Losing you was their karma. And there's that transformation. I got to tell you, even though there was a hard, like hard times between you and this person, they've definitely gone through a transformation. All right, a message from Aquarius' person to Aquarius. Aquarius' person. Thank you, Spirit. You came closer than anyone. Now, with the past and the lack, they might have go, gone through some hard times when you met them, Aquarius. With you came closer than anyone, they might have been going through their own struggles and their own demons within themselves. And then you met them at a time where they were struggling. I'm working up the courage to contact you. I'm definitely feeling soulmates, though. All right, Spirit. One final message. Thank you. Or two. Anything else? Okay. We have leap. And remember, time for a deep dive. Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. I love this. You go first. And the universe will catch you. It's like, uh, if I jump, will you jump with me? Kind of energy. And trust the niggle. Yes, it does. It says niggle. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? That you're connected at the soul with them, possibly? That you know that, that this one person that you're thinking about during this reading is your soulmate? Trust that niggle. All right. We've got T, V, K, P, O, Q, blank scrabble tile, A, U, I, G mm, R D Y and I just heard in my head are you ready I'm telling you they're going to tell you they're ready to take a leap of faith with you there's the E so we have every vowel T, P, I, okay, and the rest are repeats. All right, Aquarius, let me know how it resonates, and do check back in within the beginning of this week. Like I said, the next session, I'm going to announce the April giveaway. So for those of you that are new, I'm happy you're here. Go ahead and subscribe so you can take advantage of the giveaways I do each and every month. Um, for those of you that have been participating religiously, and you're so dedicated to me and my channel, I am trying to, like, I don't want to choose two people. I like, you know, the same person, you know, two times, whatever. I, I want to make sure that I get around to everybody. So for those of you that have been dedicated, I'm really, you know, there will be a month where I do choose your name. Just take, you know, continue to participate. Let me know how it resonates and I will be back for many more readings. So much love and light. Have a great week ahead.